car. Starlink is not fast. Starlink actually is. So today is my one month for this of using Starlink and I think I am in a better position to tell you all there is to know about getting Starlink. So by the time you are done watching this video, you will be in a position to make an informed decision about whether to get Starlink or to stay far away from it and continue using our Yarnum. So for those of you who do not understand Yarnum, ask Go and ask your grandfather. So a couple of weeks or months ago, I did a video about how and why I was compelled or forced to switch from our regular or traditional internet service providers to Starlink. It was a painful decision, but I think it's worth it. So if you not watched that video, that video has garnered more than 120,000 views. And I'm sure if you watch that video, you even will be in a better, far more better position to make quick decision whether to get Starlink or not. Oh, by the way, this video is not sponsored or I'm not promoting Starlink, all right? No one has paid me to make this video. It's purely my own bias experience. And also, this is not a technical advice, so D-Y-O-R. It simply means do your own research. So after one month, five days of my experience of Starlink, this is my number one take. Number one, is Starlink truly, truly fast? Ha, Starlink is not fast. Starlink actually is really, really fast. You are foolish boy. Oh. I'm talking about 50 to 250 megabits per second. That is incredible. That is so much incredible. I personally have never had more than 100 megabytes megabit per second in my working life all right i work online i do a lot of things online and i've never experienced that all right so having starlink giving me 200 100 150 250 and all that megabit per second speed is really fast i'm talking about downloading five gig a file all right within six minutes or within four five minutes or maximum 10 minutes I mean, it's incredible. It's it's no it's so surreal. I mean, we don't we are not used to that in Ghana. God have mercy upon us. <laughs> so as far as speed is concerned, Starlink is really really fast. The only downside is the upload speed. The download speed is incredible, but the upload speed uh, is not too great. I mean, I've had people telling me that hey, it's because of your location. So if you change location, your upload speed will increase. Or if you're able to position your Starlink in a better position, you should be having a better uh, upload speed. But Personally, the upload speed is not so much great, all right? I mean, my own experience is it hasn't been, I get like 17 to 20 or even 30 megabytes per second upload speed, which is okay, all right? Which is okay, but the download speed is far, far more better. So if you are, if you are someone who downloads a lot, watch a lot of movies, do a lot of streaming and all that, I mean, if you're someone who downloads a lot, all right, who watch a lot of videos or basically engage in those kind of things, then I think Starlink is best. But if you're someone who uploads video, all right, then okay, that's my personal experience. But for uh, when I made that video about this particular issue, people were saying, oh, it's your location. So I'm sure Starlink, yes, have better uh, upload speed than I'm experiencing. Yeah. Number two, Echo, is Starlink unlimited? Hell yes, Starlink is truly unlimited, all right? We are not talking about the unlimited we are used to, all right? We are not talking about the unlimited whereby you use the internet at a point when they realize you are consuming so much, they will slow your bandwidth. This is truly unlimited, all right? So for the first time in my life, I saw myself using more than 500 gigabytes of data. I mean, it's, it's fair because I had some friends who come over to download. I also shared the internet with uh, a good uh, brother. So yeah, um, it's only fair that it's, it's, it makes sense, all right? But hey, it's unlimited. When Starlink talks of unlimited, it's truly unlimited. <laughs> yeah, boy. Number three, is it expensive or is it even subscription-based? Yes, it's subscription-based. This month, I paid, I think, 499 or let's say 500 maximum for unlimited for one month period but here is the deal right last month after my internet expired my internet was supposed to expire on the 2nd of july guess what happened starling gives 17 grace period for you to sort yourself out 17 grace period okay so yes let me show you on the screen i got a mail i got a mail from starling saying uh, my payment did not go through i have up to 17 days to pay or else they take me out of their service can you imagine in ghana here the very day the very day the very day that subscription the very day that your internet expires the very day you're going to take you out they are going to they will take you out without even anyone and they will tell you to i mean they will take you out basically 
all right so i think that's the good thing about styling maybe if you are paid monthly and for some reason your salary delays even a day two or five days or even ten days i think you will still be in a great period to work without interruption so styling gives 17 good days period for you to sort yourself out before they take you out of service every month all right so number four is your customer service responsive one of my greatest fear when getting styling um was that their customer service is never responsive i read a lot of article online i've watched i watched also watched some videos online telling me that hey if you have problem with starlink you better forget it all right so a couple of days ago i had a friend who got starlink all right and uh, for some reason everything worked but the starlink itself wasn't connecting to internet all right so we contacted their customer service all right in less than 24 hours in actually in less than 10 hours or so 10 hours or let's say 15 hours starlink contacted me back telling him that there's a problem with the starlink so everything every is packet is kit will be taken will be uh, uh, i mean recalled back to us and will be given a brand new one at no extra cost you won't pay anything you won't pay but i mean you won't pay anything they will take off the logistic everything all right so you just need to get this item ready and then they'll come and they'll they, 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 they should ship it there and then they will find everything plus they'll give him one month free service to compensate one month free service apart from the one he already has all right so for 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 customer service i i've heard fine people saying oh they don't have responsive customer service as of now i think probably they don't use the right email i don't know but for my experience my immediate experience with my friend because we're we're in this together all right and one thing i've realized about their customer support is it's not like other services whereby they have a lot of customer service support and when you call them they don't know what they are saying all right like you call them they just want to have a responsive customer service support to create an impression that they are responsive and they care about the customers and you when you call sometimes you don't even know what they are talking about they will be i mean no 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 for styling if a customer service response it means that they are giving a solution all right i think they have technical customer service personnel they really have hands on on the on the on, on the device i mean they are purely technical so when they are responding they are giving you solution all right and that's that's one thing i like about I've, I've come to like about their customer service support i think that's the reason why they don't have a lot of customer service personnel all right i believe that's the reason because they 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 they, they recruit they spend a lot of money and time to recruit professional and technically oriented people so that if only they respond you are getting solution so that's my take number four or is it number five i mean number <laughs> right okay so one of the fears i had was when it rains starling totally will shut down that's what people used to say i'm not what they say but they said there will be some disruption all right so i was just looking forward to it and i've experienced crazy i mean serious rain with cloud weather and all that you know starling uses the low orbit satellite so when there is so much cloud covering the sky you should be expecting some obstruction or uh, disruption all right so yes my experience with starling i didn't have total shutdown on the internet max i had about two minute disruption and the internet came back on when i checked the speed the speed was hovering around 25 to 50 megabit per second which even is super cool still better than what i've been uh, stuck to for the past few years all right so if your main fear is that when it rains you are going to be cut off the internet it would me entirely i mean max the satellite is automatic so i think when he sees that it's not getting any satellite i mean that the, the starlink kit all right when he sees that it's not getting any satellite to connect to it automatically begins to switch and find I mean it begins to find a way to sort itself out all right so yes i think there will be small disruption but it's not really that bad i mean that is my experience as i said this is not a technical advice so dyor okay my fifth or sixth or whatever number all right so how many people can connect to starlink to the best of my knowledge more than 200 people can connect to one starlink all right so let me give you a tip in case you want to use starlink for business i know people who have pictured starlink and this is a free business tip or advice all right they are buying starlink and setting up some hotspots and set some internet advantages or people when they see there's a lot of traffic here they set starlink for business i mean i'll give you details i'll do special video about that all right i know some of my friends won't like that hey you are just exposing our business it's not time yet okay fine i'll try to 
what about masterclass you pay to join and i give you the all i give you all the business ideas how to make money with styling i mean by the way per my experience i think the number of people that comes on your styling doesn't really really impact negatively your internet speed i mean it it's it, it's impacts it but it's not that much because i've had more than three people uh, sorry more than 10 people join the network at a time and i was still able to get fair internet so yes there will be an impact on the speed because they will also use bandwidth on your uh, Starlink router or your Starlink service, but it's not that, 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 that bad. So Echo, what's the range of the Starlink router? For me, it's really bad. The, the Starlink router itself has really bad range. But here is a catch. You can connect the Starlink router to another router, all right? You just have to use the bypass mode on the app, all right? You use the, you, on, the Starlink, on the Starlink app, they have something called bypass mode. When you swipe it, it will give you the ability to connect to a third party router. So you can connect your Starlink router to a third party router and expand range i know starlink routers that have 200 meters 500 meters or uh, even thousand meters range all right so you can connect you know you can have wide area access all right so yes the router itself is limited in range because i think they intentionally did it all right however you can bypass it and use other uh, routers to expand your range so that's the downside one of the downside i experienced or i realized about the starlink router in my case i use repeaters all right some of my friends who have connected it they have have repeaters all right so um, my internet is linked to their repeater and they have that range to use the internet so if you know how to get around it it's not a corn all right it's something that you can actually manage all right so is there any more question all right so this is my experience if you have any question just let me know in the comment section all right and if you want to get starlink you can also let me know i can connect you to one guy you can trust all right you will surely get the best price and also you would be sorted out he will guide you through getting the styling and also setting it up all right so yeah i think i have a good source who is incredible and i think this guy i'm really close to him so you should be sure that he won't do you while so guys so that's it for today thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next video bye